just in terms of the speed that we want to move at, so we've got something like 27 gigawatts of batteries that we want to do by, yeah. um, somewhere between 22 and 27 gigawatts by 2030. Mm -hmm. Do you think that we can actually move at that speed in terms of the engineering ability that we have to connect projects? I, I think it is very challenging. I think for the reasons that I mentioned earlier, there, there will be bottlenecks within that. Um, I think the DNOs and the TOs, transmission owners, and NISO, the system operator, are looking at you know what date is realistic when these gate two offers come out, which is important. You know, having a gate two offer is a privileged position in the queue. I don't think there'll be, and this is probably another warning to developers. I don't think there'll be any leeway for faffing around. Basically, um, the ENA have brought new milestones in, which are challenging. I think two months to get planning is has always been maybe not fit for purpose there is some flexibility in that but you know you'll be held to account and you'll be made to move if not you're gone because someone else wants that place in the queue i think clean power 30 has always been a very laudable goal i got into this industry for fear of you know seeing the climate change seeing biodiversity loss you know that's what motivates me in my job and that, that's why i do what i do and i think we've kicked the can down the road for far too long we've known about global warming since the 80s it's always been oh we'll deal with it in 10 15 years oh we'll, you know we'll keep using gas for another 10 or 15 years you know and that narrative is perpetuated i think having a, a hard time target to focus the mind has been so important and I would really really warn against backtracking on that but if it means that we slip into 2022 2033 2034 that's fine but at least it's not pushing out to 2040 which causes more people to drag their feet <laughs> yes yeah, yeah. I, I think I think actually when when all said and done and someone reflects on it in the 2030s they might look back at CP 2030 and they will think that actually that the aggression of the goal was very useful mm. for holding sort of industry's feet to the fire and just working out how fast we can move yeah. noting that a lot of these things are very slow